It's a wonderful night for hockey. From far above center ice with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich. Ray Ferraro is ice side. We'll hear from him shortly. This evening, we bring you two teams matched up as they've been so many times before. As the teams get ready, Eddie, what do you think we should know about this? I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference. Fires a shot. Score! Ricocheted off a skate. Poulin's not ready for this one, guys. The puck hits the defender's skate and goes into the net. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but... Good clean win. Let's it go. And a save. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Shinneman's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Face off win here. Let's it go. Score! And this one is tied. That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Team Canada's got it off the draw at center. Well, there you go. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Looking from the corner. Parks has made it to the bench. Extra players on. Didn't get through. Whistle blown. Play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. Team Canada is getting a minor. You may have noticed this one. It's two minutes for interference. Clearly an interference call. Not allowing the player to get involved into the play. Lots on that. Deshinamin. Back and forth they go between the points. Takes a shot. Score! A power play goal. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. A little under three minutes remaining in the first. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. <laughs> Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Team Canada is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. That one comes back out over the blue line. And the coach pacing the bench is pacing a little faster now, and he seems to be talking to the ceiling. The first period has come to an end. We're here in a tight game. Not a big deficit to make up. Just one goal. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our shoot to win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to the Ute's goal is the one we want to show you because it's the go ahead goal as we head to intermission.
Canada's got that face-off win. Around through the corner right now. Hard work for possession. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. You talk about textbook call for holding, it's right there. He gains the zone with a shot. Held there for a face-off coming up next. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Into another. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. A great wrist shot. He covers and holds on. Steps across the line. A shot. Score for Team Canada! Bruins' wrist shot was heavy and quick. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. The Canadians are now back to within one. Late in the second period, still time to even this up before the end. And they take that neutral zone face off. Takes that pass up the boards. Pass cut. Well, he just turned that puck over, guys, and that puck has to go forward 100% of the time when you're on the lead. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Bunsville Burgers Family Restaurants. Parks has had a wonderful night. Saves like this one have staked his team to the lead. We'll head to break. that right side to lead. Knocked off. Marches on a cross. Slid to Volsky. Got that! Tremendous scoring chance. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Turned the wrist shot. A terrific scoring chance denied. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Park's not had much help from his teammates tonight, but it hasn't mattered. He's absolutely stood on his head, been exceptional from the very beginning. Man, these saves highlight some of the play that he's had tonight. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one in a long line of tremendous performances by him. Two guys together with force. Big force. Lee's hit seemed to surprise his man. It's designed to give it terrific save. Buck covered, whistle blown. Poulin's looking around, wondering where everybody else is, but he had to make a save on an odd man rush. He throws it there, deflected off the blocker. One-timer, no luck. I don't see too many guys getting away of blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. That's the way to make him pay. You go through that area of the ice, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get hit. The game is over. Terrific outing. Team Canada's got some work to do. They lost the contest. Probably some positives to take out of it. They had the puck a lot tonight in this game, but they need to do a better job of creating better quality chances when they do have the puck. Terrific contest. Two teams gave their very best. See you next time.